Hello, my name is Clara Boanova and I am sales manager at MNO Partners. I hope that you and your family are safe and healthy. Welcome to our Technical Thursday. Every Thursday, 10 a.m. local time, we receive a different partner to present our solution for maritime and oil and gas industries. Today we have iShare. iShare provides an add-on to existing systems to digitalize and automate the approval and workflow process for incoming voices integrated with your purchasing and accounting systems. I would like to introduce you to our presenter, Kenneth Satre is the sales director in iShare and has more than 20 years of IT experience, the last eight years focusing on AP process. iShare has around 500 customers and Kenneth continuously meets companies discussing their challenges and requirements and can be seen as a subject, subject matter expert on this topic. After the presentation, we'll have some minutes for questions and answers. I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you. So, um, as Clara says, I'm Kenneth Seth with my share. Um, I have prepared a set of slides for us this uh, 30 minutes to go through iShare and how we help different companies. Um, just a couple of information about iShare. Um, it's a Norwegian company. It's been in business since 2001. So we have done accounts payable automation in many, many years. It's a proven solution used by more than 500 customers in more than 47 countries. And if you look at the number of users using this on a daily basis, there is about 76,000 individual users processing around 24 million invoices every year. Um, <clears throat> iShare as a system is always integrated with the accounting system and the purchasing system that our customers use. So we already have integrations with all uh, the major and vanilla systems like Microsoft Dynamics, SAP, Oracle, Sun Unit 4, et cetera, et cetera. We also have a specialization for shipping companies. If any of you are in the shipping industry, we have integrations there with, with multiple shipping ERPs like um, Terra Marine, for example, and others. Uh, one thing with iShare is that it's not limited to specific industries. It can be used by any kind of company, regardless of industry. And uh, the good thing with this is that iShare takes experience from one type of industry and implements that in other type of industries. So that is good for our customers to get input from other industries than their own. So a little bit more to our solutions. Um, iShare as a solution handles uh, the complete purchase to pay process. Um, we have three product lines. Uh, it's about capturing information and making documents digital. Workflow, which is the solution where things are distributed internally and automated internally. And we also have a portal which gives our customers possibilities to talk to their suppliers online and exchange different document types there. So iShare is not limited to purchase to pay, although this topic uh, today is going to be about uh, accounts payable. We have solutions for all kinds of documents that requires digitalization uh, or storage, electronic archiving, or some kind of workflow. So just have that uh, in your thoughts throughout this uh, presentation. Now, a little bit about why automate. Um, there was a we sent out a, uh, a questionnaire to 65 different CFOs which responded and these are the results. 68% uh, responded that they wanted to automate to reduce the overall processing cost of processing invoices. 
The second highest here, 52% responded that they wanted to remove the paper from the AP process or department. And third highest here, you see is about accelerating the time it takes from the invoices received internally until it has been approved and transferred and eventually paid by the company. But as you can see, there is many, many motivations of why automating this process uh, by the respondents to this uh, questionnaire. Most of our customers, they have challenges or had challenges having control of the process. So they uh, implemented solutions to uh, be sure that they handle the invoices in time, that they know where every invoice is at any given time, and that they know who actually processes the invoice. A second uh, big uh, score is the compliance, meaning compliance to internal procedures or processes, helping the different people working in the company to stay compliant to their, uh, to their internal processes on how to do things. So everything in, in iShare is very structured and it uh, gives you insight into the matters that you're supposed to get insight into and, and gives uh, administrators a possibility to stay on top of all the different processes. The third is efficiency, reducing uh, human interaction with the invoices uh, through automation. So I'm going to touch on different types of automation during this uh, presentation, which you will discover in just a couple of minutes. The main benefits that our customers uh, achieves is, of course, to reduce the cost and eliminate many manual activities. Some of our customers, they used to have, for example, invoice approval Wednesdays where everybody in the purchasing department stayed over time on the Wednesday evening just to approve invoices, whilst today they go home to their families instead because the invoices are approved while they're in the office with a much more um, efficient process. So uh, iShare eliminates manual activities, um, including, for example, voucher entry processes, which is something that we automate a lot. So we speed up the execution of the payments and ensuring on-time payments, which is more and more important. It's important to have the suppliers receive the money when they are due so that they also continue and stay stay in business to support you and your company. So improve the control in the process, increase the compliance as we mentioned, capturing early payment discounts and avoiding late payment fees. And in addition to that, having a positive impact on the environment since there is no paper involved in the process. So we're going to talk about the invoice from it comes in to, to the customers and then the process while inside the office. So to the left of my uh, mouse pointer now, you will see different ways that invoices comes in. So either they're in the form of a paper where the envelope is opened and uh, the invoice is scanned or it's sent in an email like a PDF file attached to an email and they send that to your email address. Now both of these two type of documents requires um, that they are properly digitalized and also interpreted. So the interpretation that we do is optical character recognition where the system recognizes lead texts, for example invoice date, and then it takes the different dates attached to invoice date and extract that from the document so that it becomes uh, a digital information that you can use in your voucher entries later on. In addition to paper invoice and PDF invoice, we help our customers becoming more and more electronic invoice compliant, receiving electronic invoices from portals or directly from suppliers. We also have the portal, as I mentioned previously, where our customers has a possibility for their suppliers to go onto their version of the portal and upload images 
and metadata directly on the particle. And all these different ways, we then have a digital uh, invoice. We then have the different um, figures and uh, values available electronically and digitally. And then we send this information into the workflow side of iShare invoice. The first thing that, you ha that happens here you see is validation. So through the integration with your accounting system, we will, for example, validate if the supplier on the invoice is an approved supplier in your supplier register. And we do a couple of checks here in the beginning to do fraud detection. If any fraud is detected, we, the system is clearly highlighting this to the, the user monitoring this. So we validate if the supplier is a valid supplier. We validate if this invoice has been received before to avoid duplicate processes and duplicate payments and different items like this. Early in the process, we also discover what type of invoice it is. And if, for example, it's it is a purchase order invoice. The invoice can be automatically matched with the purchase order related to the invoice and also check uh, where the goods have been received. Uh, more about that in a couple of slides. If, uh, however, the invoice is not a purchase order related invoice, then iShare can do different matching to, for example, invoice agreements or we can uh, match it with, uh, for example, coding suggestions to, uh, to achieve easy and more quality controlled coding of an invoice uh, and avoid manual entry of voucher entry data. So the system is best in place when the system is doing what it's good at to do uh, electronic digitalized checking. Uh, on logics and then let uh, the humans seeing the system deal with exceptions. So if, for example, you have a purchase order related invoice that is matched with the purchase order, and if it is found to be non-matching, then it sends it directly to the, the buyer in question. So then the buyer will then deal with the exception manually and, uh, and make sure that you have full control over this in the process. The whole approval process, if necessary, is happening inside iShare here, as you can see, integrated with the ERP. And there is a full track and trace being built up while people are using the system. The system, for example, can see that it's right now cannot approve an invoice. So it sets a timestamp on that invoice that cannot approve it in uh, that specific time. And this data can later be used either for audit possibilities or to identify bottlenecks in the process. More about that a little bit later on. Um, there is a possibility to do full reporting and also identify bottlenecks, these kind of reports. And of course, the system stores the invoice and all the audit trails electronically in a digital archive automatically so that they're available to be found uh, and inspected later on. And of course, when the invoice is finally approved, we also insert the invoice and the voucher entry data into the ERP or accounting system to also do that automated as well. So, uh, iShares top performers, the, the companies that utilize iShare the most, they actually achieve more than 90% touchless invoice processing, meaning that no people is actually involved in that process. That is typical for retail uh, industries where they have a lot of automated processes. And we say usually that the companies that achieve 20% or lower of automation then they are actually not utilizing all the functionalities available in iShare. So, a couple of examples again on uh, customers. Here it's two shipping companies basically, and the reason why, why I've picked these two out is that they have two different takes on why they want to do implement. 
This here is a, a company that operates with 100 staff in three different locations. They receive 40,000 invoices every year, which is 155 every day. So their challenge mainly was that they were distributing these invoices to the different offices, and they had a challenge finding out where is the invoice actually right now. They also had challenges with not paying on time and um, a supplier base that started to get tired of this. Um, so their motivation was mainly to improve the control. And only after they had used it for three years, they started to automate the process doing rule based approval of, for example, purchase order invoices. Now, the other example I brought with me into today is a, a, a smaller company, uh, 55 staff in one single office. They receive 18,000 invoices annually, that's 70 per day. Their motivation was mainly to automate as much as possible to have as few staff as possible involved in the process. And from they started utilizing iShare, about 70% of their PR related invoices is actually automatically matched and sent to accounting as suggestions for payment without people intervention. So that's a total of 43 invoices on a daily basis, meaning that the technical department only has to focus on 19 invoices every day instead of 62. And the remaining between 62 and 70 is actually cost related invoices which is non PR related invoices, which requires other styles of automations. And today they demonstrate that they're able to pay all the invoices and 90% of all their invoices are paid in time and they can prove that. Um, so a couple of customer statements um, in, in Wilson, they say that uh, introducing iShare invoice has greatly enhanced and simplified the whole purchasing process. So going back to the matching process, uh, I share the system automatically picks up the invoice, finds out what's on the invoice, it, it digitalizes the invoice and does optical character recognition, it finds out what type of invoice it is and checks everything and automatically decide who should work with the invoice if anybody at all. And in this case, they wanted to do uh, an automatic match between the purchase order, the invoice, and the delivery data. So in the accounts payable industry, we say that this is called three-way match. You match the invoice figure with the PO figure, figure, and you look at whether the goods has been received or not. And if that all matches, or is within tolerance levels that you can set in the system, then you can achieve a straight through processing and directly update the uh, accounting system. If, this if the system identifies an exception, it sends it out to the correct person, usually starting with the purchaser if it is a purchase order. And then depending on the hierarchy and the approval matrix in the company, may send it to additional people. Uh, so in MOL LNG's example, there you see that about 70% of all the PR related invoices are matched and automatically approved by the system. So if there is an exception, what happens then? Well, first of all, the system sends out an email saying that one or several invoices requires your approval. And in the email, you see a link which if you click, opens up your browser and shows you the invoice. It shows you the invoice here. It shows you why it has been sent to you. In this case, an unacceptable deviation of 82.74 euros, which is 6.05% of the invoice amount. To help you find out what the difference is, it also displays the different purchase order lines from the purchase order system. So it combines the invoice with the reason why it's sent to you together with the information you need to find out. So it kind of combines informations from many sources 
and displays that in one single easy to understand screen. And it also assumes that since Kenneth is already in now approving invoice, we may as well display the other invoices on his desk. So here I can see that I actually have four invoices where two of them are actually overdue. So I need to, to get my act together. And as you can see, I either approve it or I reject it or I put it on hold. And if I reject or put it on hold, then the system will prompt me to come up with a reason. So for example, I'm waiting for, let's say a credit note, for example, then this information is shared with everybody looking at the, um, the system. So the information is shared, for example, between purchasing and, um, and accounting. Uh, this is when we do header level matching of an invoice, meaning invoice figure with PO figure. There is a possibility if you receive electronic invoices to do this online item. In this case, the message displayed is one or more ORD lines contains an error. And in this case, the system is able to find out which of the lines there is a diff versus the PO and the invoice. So in this case, it helps the buyer to identify the lines which has a deviation. So very helpful for many buyers. Um, here you can see another statement from a, a customer in Europe, in Poland, introducing this. The purchasing manager there says that automated paperless invoice processing re reduced the work in his department with 20%. And 20% is actually one day per week per buyer. So that is for them quite significant and they spend that time on improving logistics and improving prices and delivery to, in, the, in their case, the ships. Also, one possibility when you have digitalized is, of course, to have the invoice available, for example, on your smartphone so that you can always approve either on your way to work, from work or out, out traveling. And I couldn't resist also bringing in the other element of having a mobile. Here you can see that you're able with the mobile phone to capture and submit in, for example, an expense that you have. So you're in the shop, you're buying something, you take, uh, you, you pay for it with your credit card and you automatically send, take an, a picture with your phone of the expense and submit that still while in the shop. So we have these kind of solutions as well. So in, um, in short, uh, iShare is bringing a lot of time savings, a lot of control elements, and uh, since it's so easy to understand, it's quite easy for many people to utilize as well. Uh, Clara, do I have you with me today? Yes, I'm, yes here. I'm here. I was thinking, should we? Because now um, we have five, six, six five uh, minutes left. Shall I focus on a quick demonstration or shall we go through some question and answers, for example? Yes, please. Yes. Please go to the demonstration and then we will have the question and answers. Okay, then very quickly, just I'm going to be. Then um, I'm going to be an account payable manager in this case. So I've logged in as the accounts payable manager and here I can see the overview of all the different stages in our process internally. And I can see how many invoices is right now in the different stages. So if, um, if I click here, then I will get displayed the 11 invoices in that status. So with iShare, everything you see is actually clickable. Here you can see that I've decided I want the KPI showing me invoices approved in time. How high is that percentage? So meaning that I can easily overview, okay, why is the time and the approved in time so low in March versus uh, December, for example. 
and I can look at average approval times in a period. And I can always here select other KPIs, which is available for me depending on what I'm interested in. But what all AP people is interested in is the different stages in the process. So for example, waiting approval, let's have a quick look. I click this button, then I get displayed all the 11 invoices in a list view. And here I can see, for example, this one is about to become due. Um, I can see here the supplier, the amount, who has it right now, dates, invoice number, so and so and so on. All of these are of course searchable. I can here start to write, for example, I want to look at all from SW and then it shows me Swift from that supplier. And I can do the same on any of these uh, columns. If I want to look at the details, I simply double tap. Then I see the invoice here. Um, I can, if it has multiple pages, I can browse through the pages. Uh, or I can zoom in and out of the invoice, depending on what I'm interested in. Um, here I can see that actually the tree, this is a purchase order related invoice. It doesn't match. And here I see the actual purchase order lines from my purchasing system. So I can compare that with the invoice and look at all the different details here. So the system as such is it's very easy to use and it's very intuitive in its user interface, very clean in the interface. I can just keep on browsing, look at all the different other um, invoices just by clicking on them here or return to the portal and navigate from the portal. Um, there is a Google search inside. So for example, if I want to look at a user, say myself, I can see that Kenneth Satra is involved in all kinds of document types here in the system. If I want to see everything which is, which is waiting for his approval, I'll just click this button and then it displays all those invoices. In fact, here you can Google on more, more or less everything uh, or anything. Maybe I remember a quick keyword in one invoice. Let's try this out. Awesome, okay. Awesome, found something here. I click that and then where is the awesome, where is the awesome? Actually in the comments button here, you see awesome. So if I remember either a number, a figure or a comment, I will always be able to find it out here. So there is numerous of functionalities here. There is a bunch of things that we could go through. I could sit here at least easily two, three hours and go through more details with you. And I'm quite happy to do so as well. And since we have very short time limits today, I suggest we jump to the Q&A. And then if anybody of you guys are interested in having a more closer look, a more detailed look, please contact Clara and she'll set up a meeting with you and, and us directly so and, and talk about the challenges you may have and the things you would be interested in. So Clara. Yes. Yes. We have some Any questions questions here. Can you please go to the question box? Yeah, I have 10 published questions. Um, shall I just take them from the top? Yes, please. Yeah. Um, we have one question here who says, is it time consuming to implement your solution? Um, the response is, it's actually very easy and very fast to implement the solution. And remember that it's something that we put on top of your existing system. Today you are processing invoices. Now it's just about processing them smarter and more automated. So it's it's quite easy and not time consuming to implement on top of your system. Another question here is what are the most common challenges solved with digitize, digitalizing the invoices. Uh, I think the top three things are improved control, since you know exactly where it is when it's digital versus paper, which can float around without you having actual control. Um, digitalizing also enables automation and efficiency. So I think that is a, is a good also top three thing. 
And so traceability, uh, control, um, efficiency, and compliance to process. Um, other questions are, what are the most important technology trends within accounts payable? Well, right now, the buzzword is artificial intelligence and how to embed that into the process. Azure has a lot of um, a lot of uh, possibilities utilizing AI. Uh, can be more specific on that if we do a more detailed meeting. The other thing and trend is electronic invoices to reduce paper and PDF and instead having transactions. Um, another question, how easy is it to integrate with Terra Marine? Is there references on this integration? Um, Terra Marine, we have standard integration with, so it's plug and play, very, very easy. And yes, we have multiple references on the integration. Another question, are we able to set up approval flow in this solution? Yes, in many dimensions, uh, and that will actually help you to automate the whole process. So setting up approval flows is completely up to each individual customer. Um, how difficult is the integration with existing system, if not already available? How long it takes to make a new integration? Depends a little bit on the system. If it is a new modern system that you're using, then it's much, much easier than, let's call it a, a system with older technology. Today, most system has APIs, which we use to uh, a big extent to integrate. Next question, is there management and procurement reports that gives you an overview of what was automatically handled? Yes, there is multiple available. Uh, there is also a reporting tool inside of iShare that uh, we have. In addition to that, you can com combine Power BI or business intelligence tools to get even more information. Um, is there any special hardware demands for the system, including scanners? Uh, scanners, most scanners which can produce 300 DPIs, and that even my home scanner can do that, then it will produce a, a good quality uh, paper scan. Uh, hardware demands, depends, it's a cloud solution, so we can deliver it in the cloud. Uh, hardware demands is not really that complicated versus your ERP, for example. Um, another question, from how many invoices per month the solution creates value? Depends on the type and nature of business. We have customers with, you know, thousand invoices, but high value invoices that they require to have complete control over and many steps uh, for their approval process. But I would say in general, everything above 10,000 invoices annually, then there is a definite solid business case on it. I think, think that covers all the questions. Yes, I think so. And if you have more questions, please send us. And thank you so much, Kenneth, for your time. Thank you for the great presentation. And thank you, our audience. And we'll talk again next Thursday, every Thursday, 10 a.m. It's our technical Thursday. Thank you. Thank you.